Hello everyone and welcome to the Brit Shaver Shaving Channel. My name's John Newton and today as promised it's shaving time and uh, we've got a whole bunch of new products from Italy and uh, this one is going to be the shaving cream. I've never tried this before. This is going to be the very first time and it's called Bioactive Men Shaving Cream Hydro Shave by a firm called uh, Farmagam. I'm sure the Italians pronounce it slightly differently, but it looks like a very interesting composition. Um, it's got uh, all the usual stuff in there, some glycerin. One of the things that does worry me a little bit is it apparently has some hydrochloric acid in there. <laughs> so that's a bit worrying. But we'll have to wait and see what that's like. So, and uh, here's some aftershave gel, uh, which is... Uh, called Adam by the same firm and again I haven't tried that don't know what it's like we we'll also have um, a new brush and um, let's just uh, open it up as it comes in this cardboard sleeve rather boring cardboard sleeve uh, by Amiga uh, just unbox that here we go. And um, inside the box, trying desperately not to chuck things on the floor, is this one. Uh, this is a silver tip badger shaving brush and uh, made by Amiga. That's the inside of the box if anybody's interested. Strange lollipop shape on the inside. And um, it comes with a little elasticated label, which has to come off, of course. And uh, I've never used this. Uh, that is actually straight out of the box. It's going to be interesting to see what it's like, whether it smells, what it's going to be like. Shall we see? So I think what we'll start off with, as it's the first time of using this, is I'm going to put a little bit of water in my shaving bowl and just soak it while I sort out the rest of my stuff. So we just, a little bit of water goes in the shaving bowl and the brush just sits in there. I'm just going to let it sit in there for a minute or two. I know lots of people bathe their shaving brushes for 10 minutes while they do lots of other stuff. I don't really believe that's of any benefit to me. And uh, let's just put the box and what have you to one side so it doesn't get in the way. Now we also need a blade. Now I haven't chosen a blade, but I'm gonna use my normal razor. So let's just move you out of the way and get to the razor blades. Oops, sorry about that. Mm, let's use a blade that I've never used before, shall we? Just for a, a change, if I can find one in my stash of razor blades in here. <clears throat> How about this one? Yeah, let's try one of those. Um, that's the kind of razor blades that uh, I know of uh, as a youngster, I suppose. The Wilkinson's full one. The famous advert they used to have was the name, the name on the world's finest blades. So they don't do that anymore. And um, out it comes. It's going to be interesting. I've never used the Wilkinson sword blade to shave with before, so I don't know what it's going to be like. But I am going to use my uh, fantastic German uh, Timor. Uh, razor which uh, I love with the wooden handle um, it's going to be tough if this ever breaks I, I don't know what's going to happen I, I don't know how I'm going to how I'm going to shave without it I have to find another one I suppose um, so here we go let's unwrap the blade I'm going to unwrap it down here because it's just really uncomfortable to wrap, unwrap it at eye level so there it is Yeah, 
Wilkinson saw blade. Somehow or other, I expected that to have a much bigger logo on it than it has. Or a double logo, or more than one, or something other than that. Somehow or other, that's a bit disappointing. So uh, there is the uh, base plate of the razor. I'm going to pop that on there. And uh, the top plate, rather, of course. And the base plate, I'm going to use the closed comb of my razor today because I'm not quite on four days. And uh, screw it all together. Okay, so. Um, Let's see how the brush is getting on. I thought something dramatic had happened there. It was a loud crack and I don't know why. <laughs> no, it doesn't smell at all. That's good, isn't it? I guess they must have given it a really good clean before they packaged it because it, to me, it literally smells of nothing. Although, some um, powder or something was in the water, so um, it might have had, I don't know, something in there to preserve the hair, I'm not really sure. So uh, let's, um, let's get some shaving cream going, shall we? Pause for a second to make sure I've got everything I need in all in the right place. Having never used this before, I don't know how strong it is, how, what it's going to even smell like. Does it smell like in there? Mm, not very distinctive. It's going to be interesting. And uh, let's uh, build up some lava, shall we? Well. Wow. That's quite impressive. Very loose to begin with. Very uh, frothy. I think we need to... Uh, maybe I start off with a brush too wet. Not so sure. Don't know. What's it say on the back? Yeah. It'll turn out to be brushless. So. Shaving cream contains glycerin, coconut oil, blah de blah de blah 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 external use only never really understood why they put that on there what exactly are they expecting you to do with it made in the republic of san marino this is not italian at all san marino is in italy but it's not italy how about that this is a discovery for you What do you think? Does that look good enough to you? It looks a bit loose to me, but the more I um, lather it, the more lathery it's getting. <laughs> oh, you can tell there's no script for this, can't you? Okay, so, so wet the face, you get on with it. If you've just stumbled across this video and wonder why on earth a man will be shaving on YouTube, um, it's part of a process to help me to learn shave and to help other people to learn shave and uh, with a, a double-edged razor, really. Um, um, I enjoy it and there is something soothing about watching another guy shave. Um, don't ask me why it just is and uh, so there you go there's the brush it's going to be interesting i don't know whether um you can tell but it's very dull and overcast here weather wise on the camera it looks okay but um 
seems very uh, non-summery, almost autumn-like here in Margate today. Right, well the brush is soft, it doesn't have a huge amount of backbone. Uh, there are no, but definitely no bones in it. Very interesting. Lava coming off of that because uh, it's a new brush and a new shaving cream. Hard to tell exactly what's going on. The feel of it is very airy and very loose. Uh, normally, when I use a, a shaving cream, it uh, can come out, to, I suppose, what you call a little bit pasty, quite thick, but this seems quite loose and quite airy. To me, and it has got a um, a, sm a slight um, flowery sort of scent. This um, floral, I mean, not like flower. <laughs> okay, so. Right, I suppose the uh, telling time will be to, uh, the telling thing of course will be to shave. So let's just get rid of some of the shaving cream off, uh, off my hands, a little bit at least, and warm up the razor. Wilkinson saw blade seems reasonably smooth and fairly decently sharp but the first feeling of the lava is that even though it was loose it seems to be lubricating my skin quite well. Just to reiterate, I seem to say this every video, if you're using a double-edged razor for the first time, don't be tempted to press. Just let the weight of the razor do the work. On all these videos, it looks like uh, the person shaving is pressing. Um, if they are, they're doing it wrong, they're going to cut themselves. And if you see the skin moving, it's because the blade is pulling the hair while it's shaving it and that's what's making the skin move. Do it as slowly as you're comfortable with. If you're not comfortable with doing it as fast as me, do it slower. If you really want to go fast, then it's up to you. You can do it whatever speed you like. Okay, so that was a good first pass, I think. Give the razor a good old rinse through. And let's have a little bit more 
shaving soap, shaving cream with the silver tip Amiga brush. Um, I would say that um, it's not particularly spiky or smooth, this brush. It seems it doesn't have much backbone to me, but I'm used to a bristle brush. I've never had a silver tip uh, shaving brush before, so decided that I would have a go at that. This shaving soap seems a little bit dry now, so on the third pass I'm definitely going to add some uh, water. Second pass. part of the neck is always a bit strange so I have to do it in several different directions. Let's see what's going on with that. A little bit of a rinse off. Pretty good so far, I right, like it. Didn't put more water in, um, just a couple of drops. First shave with a brand new brush. Uh, pleased to say it doesn't smell. I do have another batch of shaving brush which I've used three or four times and it still smells. And this one definitely doesn't. Uh, Amiga definitely know what they're doing. I actually really like the handle on that one as well. It's got a decent grip and it, to me it looks really nice. Uh, tried to tell me it was made out of um, onyx. Obviously not. It's some kind of plastic. <laughs> um. Okay, third pass. Let's get the bits that I spotted that were needed a bit more first. And we're going wherever we can go against the grain. How daring is that? If you go against the grain, you can risk getting 
uh, razor bumps. Okay, good rinse off, and let's see if I missed any bits. Okay, I'm reasonably happy with that. Let's have the towel off. And uh, let's have a go with the Aftershave gel, shall we? Never used an aftershave gel before. What does it look like? Oh, it's clear. Okay. That's what it looks like. What does it smell like? Sort of fresh. Now apparently there were several scents, but by the time I'd spent what seemed like an hour in the shop trying to choose a brush, I'd had enough really. They're very sweet in Italian shops, but they do take their time. Which I suppose, you know, it's uh, something that's been lost from uh, shopping in the UK. You go into a shop and they just want you out as quickly as possible. Whereas in this one, they were clearly quite happy for us to be there as long as we liked. Which is nice. What do I think of that gel? I suppose if I had any sting, I don't feel, didn't feel any. Was my skin sore when I put it on? Not particularly. The only real test will be when that dries off. So I'm not going to put any... Uh, cologne or uh, uh, fragrance on at the moment until that is dry. Overall I think that was a pretty good shave, I really enjoyed that. Um, that was my new Amiga uh, silver tip brush uh, bought in the shop in Italy, the Bioactive for Hydro Shave shaving cream which I was quite impressed with, it looked a bit strange on the skin to me but uh, it seemed to do a really good job and the um, bioactive aftershave gel which I've never used before which is as you can see is still a little bit shiny and drying off so uh, the full effect I suppose I won't really feel that until it's thoroughly dried down 
uh, no menthol or anything like that. And uh, if I was going to put some uh, men's perfume on or EDT or cologne on, it would have been uh, Issy Miyake today. And that will be going on as soon as this is dry. So I hope you've enjoyed the shave today. Uh, join us back again on the Brick Shaver channel in a couple of days' time for yet another shave. Any questions, any comments, any likes, please put them down below. If you'd like me to cover anything specific, don't be frightened to ask me a question. That's what we're here for. Have a great day and see you in a couple of days' time. Bye for now.